Hello! Welcome back to my art channel. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps to create your own filter to look like Sabrina Carpenter in the Espresso music video. So follow along with me and if you like this, hit that subscribe button for more artsy content. <laughs> I am using Adobe Lightroom, so the first thing you're going to want to do is drag the photo that you want to edit into Lightroom. And then you're going to click this button over here on the right panel and this is where you're going to find pretty much everything that we're going to mess with to create this filter. And the first thing you're going to want to do is up the contrast to about 23 or so. Now we're going to lower the highlights quite a bit to right around minus 60. And now we're going to really up the shadows to about plus 70. And now lower the whites to around minus 18 and bring the blacks up to about plus 30. All right, scrolling down, we are now going to focus on the color. First, let's up that temperature to plus 20 and just barely lower the tint. I did minus four. And then lower the vibrance to minus seven and up the saturation just a little bit to plus six. Okay, for color mixing, you're gonna start with orange and you're gonna bring the hue up to 16 and the saturation down minus 11. Yellow, just bring the saturation down minus five. Green, hue plus 24, saturation minus 25, and luminance minus eight. For this teal color, you're gonna do hue minus 29, saturation plus 19, and luminance minus 27. Then blue, hue is minus 34, saturation plus 28, and luminance plus 14. And now we're gonna move along to color grading. And I only touch the shadows and the highlights to kind of mess with the oranginess and the yellow of the image. And the very last thing we'll work on are these effects. First, let's bring the clarity down to minus 22, and then bring dehaze down to minus 9. And these ones kind of give it more of a glowy kind of feel. And that's the filter! So now you're going to press presets and plus to save it as your own little filter. And once you've saved it, you can mess with the strength of the filter if you want it more subtle or more intense. Yeah. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it resourceful and helpful. And enjoy making your Instagram feed look phenomenal. Subscribe for more where that came from. See you later. Bye.